Am I doing this too early? Alright. Can't remember what it, how to do. Press A to throw it high. Okay. I always have to be patient this bit. You could not walk a lot and then throw it. What I mean is like the bombs, you didn't have time to go too far, throw it up and then shoot. There's a lot of things in this game, you know, it was like one of the first games I'd ever played and as such, a lot of the difficulty well, that was, that was, that was difficult. A lot of the difficulty of this game came from, you know, me not knowing how games work. Not really understanding how to use a controller. And all that sort of stuff like here. You would think you'd want to keep walking like I just did before. But you need to give yourself plenty of time to line up the shot. Otherwise, the bomb comes and then you're facing left or right. And you turn around, you can't shoot it, and then he blows you up, and then you drop the bomb, and it's all bad. Also, the music in this game is amazing. Which is uh, another thing, on GOG, if you buy the game, I haven't been paid by them to say this or anything, I just like GOG. Uh, you get free the, the entire soundtrack for free with the purchase of the game of GOG. You also get um, a thing, if I remember. You get uh, special art to download and the whole soundtrack, which is really cool because the soundtrack is amazing. So for those of you who have no idea what this game is like, other than what I've, you've seen me playing, the basic idea is Rayman usually starts off with less of his powers, and he has to get them Mega Man style throughout the game. At the beginning of the first game, he has no powers other than to throw his fist. In this game, for some reason, he throws little silver balls. I guess because throwing the fist was too difficult to animate in 3D. You know, at the time. They did, they managed to do it in Rayman 3. Rayman 3 is so cool. If I could play that on here, I would. I probably can't, though. It's a PS2 game. And this is also a PS1 game. See, it's weird. On the N64 version, he just says Yahoo, as it's depicted. Here he says, uh, Yeah, Rayman. What are you looking at? I'm aware that my humour doesn't really come across in these. I guess maybe it will uh, at some point when I when I'm funny. But I don't want to force the humour. I tried to force the humour earlier in my in the game I played with my brothers, the Age of Empires. Let's play. Let's play. We we were just playing a match. It's an hour long video. Don't watch it. It's shit. But I tried to force humour sometimes, and I caught myself doing it, and I was like, wait. I wouldn't laugh at that, why the hell am I saying it? So should I force humour on here? No. I'll let the jokes come as they come, go as they, you know. And then I realised, I'm thinking too much about it. You gotta not think about it, you just gotta do things. You gotta play a game, you gotta w say things that come to mind. Is that a pirate? Oh shit, it's a pirate.
Yes. Amazing talent. You gotta not think about it. It's just you playing a game. If you try too hard, you fail. Which is why I'm really not trying at all. I'm just sort of, eh. I like this game. I'm playing it. Ah, this bit. This bit wasn't in the PS1 version. A lot of things were cut out of the PS1 version. I don't know why. I see them. Yes, Mary. Thank you. See, it's just something that's so magical about all these animations and the art design. Oh. Colorfulness, the brightness, it's just. Why is that an old trope? I want these colorful games to come back. I want there to be a new platformer. It doesn't necessarily have to be a weird one like this. Oh shit. It just needs to be colorful and vibrant and stylized, but not stupid. I mean, the, the new Rayman. That's 2D, that's stylized. I kind of like the, the look of it, but at the same time it's 2D, and I didn't like the 2D of Rayman 1. I preferred the, the 3D of Rayman 2 and 3. And I think they said that they're not going to do another Rayman game. Which is a shame. But really, what else could you do? Introduced cool new things, I guess you could. As long as it's not that fucking rabbits thing. I never found them funny, even just to look at. I would have preferred like a spin off with the hoodlums. You know. If the hoodlums were in place, well, I guess they look kind of scary. And the rabbits look kind of cute, but they're also supposed to be disgusting. I think. They certainly feel disgusting. You got the bulgy eyes. They're supposed to be cute. They're supposed to be the cute mascot. And Rayman slowly got shoved out of the franchise, and it was all fucking stupid. game. There are lo long sections of like going really high up and really going really long across these huge ex expansive levels that aren't literally huge, they just feel huge. I mean, this cavern's been going up for a long time. And if you fall, you just fall. You don't lose, you have to climb all the way back up again. Yeah. Break the cages. Good idea. I guess I could cut the... the what? Access denied. I missed some things, I guess. Well, fuck you. Actually, I think a few of those cages and lungs were inaccessible because you had to go to a, f an, an, like a level in the future that links like a teleport to this level, to a secret area. And the reason that it goes all the way back here is because it shows you that you didn't get the bonus level because it's impossible to get the bonus level, and because it's impossible to get the bonus level, it shows this, access denied, which means the next level, you're going to try and find all the he hidden secrets, and oh, it's good game design. It gets you, gets you wanting to get all the, all the lums. It gives you a reason. You've been denied something. You want to get it. Good game design. Love this game.